Hi everyone, I'm Heidi Roro and welcome back to my channel. So, I may look a little bit different. I don't know where you guys are living, but in Los Angeles, California, it is so hot right now. Literally, I went to Six Flags the other day and my makeup was starting to run. And I thought to myself, what are products that I trust and that are perfect for hot summer days? So if you like to create a perfect summer proof look, then let's get started. First things first, you wanna make sure that your face is hydrated. I know it's been really hot these days, but you cannot skip that step. So I'm using Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. And because it's been so hot, we cannot skip this step as well. We need to apply some sunscreen. I'm using my favorite sunscreen, which is the Shiseido Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector. So I always make sure to add this to my regimen before I leave the house. This is a step that I feel like most people forget, but you guys really want to make sure that you're protecting your face before you leave the house. And another important step is to prime your face with a mattifying primer. So I'm using my favorite Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer in the mattifying primer. And I'm just going to focus this in my problem areas which is the T-zone in my nose. The last thing you want is a heavy cake face, so that's why I'm going to use one of my favorite foundation and concealers. It's the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in the shade Ivory. And what's nice about this is that it's a two-in-one product. It's a foundation and a concealer, so you kind of skip some steps. Um, I don't want to kick this on at all. I want to make sure that my face is pretty light. I'm just putting it in the areas that are a little bit more problem areas, if that makes sense. But you really don't need too much of this product. And especially on hot days, you don't want to kick anything on too much. Oh, another thing. So you want to make sure that you don't dampen your beauty sponge with water because it's going to take away your mattifying primer, your sunscreen, and all of that jazz. So you want to spray your beauty sponge. So you can use any facial mist that you are using prior to makeup or after makeup because it's not going to take away the product and it's not going to take away all the properties that you put prior to the foundation. I'm also going to add a little bit on my eyelids. We're not going too crazy with the eye makeup today, but I do want to prime my eyes. So just using a little bit of this. And you want to make sure that you are mattifying the base of your face with some translucent powder. So I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder. I really like applying the powder with my sponge because I feel like it takes away any excess foundation that I might have had and it really helps put the translucent powder into my skin just to make sure that everything is really mattified. Now to bronze up the rest of my face, I'm using my favorite Benefit Hula Bronzer. just taking a small blending brush to carve out that nose as well. Let's add a little bit of blush. I'm using my favorite NARS Madly Blush. Now let's add some highlighter. I'm using the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. just add highlight where the sun naturally hits your face. So kind of in this C-shape area, the tip of your nose. Those are the types of places where I add my highlight. Now that the face is complete, I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows with the one and only ABH Brow Wiz in taupe. You want to use more of a waxy consistency because it's not going to run away. So that's why I, on really, really hot days, this is my brow product of choice. And because we want to make sure that our eyebrows stay put, we are also going to be putting the clear brow gel over top because we don't want our hard work to run away. 
I'm going to be doing a very simple eyeshadow look. First off, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Lala. Let me do a swatch for you guys right here. Honestly, I feel like the best applicator is your finger because the heat from your fingers to the actual product itself has a very nice application when you apply it to your eyes. You can use brushes, but in my um, experience, I feel like using your fingers is the best way to go. So I'm just taking some of this Lala shade right here and I'm just going to be applying it all over the lid. Once you get your desired opacity, you're just going to use the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Plum. I'm just lining my lash line. It's okay if it's messy. We really just need a small little base. I'm just going to be blending it out with a pencil brush. The pencil brush and just blending out that shade. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes. And I'm using the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. I'm just going to be putting on some Ardell Wispies on my lashes. Now that my lashes are on, as you can see, it's a very easy eye look. It's just two products. And if you don't want to wear falsies, go ahead and just load up your mascara and you're good to go. But I need a little bit more oomph in my lashes because they are... They need some help. So last but not least, let's put on our lips. So I'm using the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Muse. Let's finish it off with some facial spray. And that's it for my summer proof makeup look. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below on what you like to see next, and subscribe so you join the family. Thanks for watching. Bye!